Electric circuits, question 5. The diagrams show two possible ways of connecting the motor of a radio controlled car to a battery. Circuit A uses a variable resistor and circuit B uses a potential divider. In both circuits the resistor has a total value of 12 ohms and the battery has a value of 3 volts. Assume the motor has a constant resistance of 4 ohms. Part A for both circuits, calculate the minimum current through the motor. Well, for both circuits, this will be with the slider fully left, utilising as much as possible of the resistor. For circuit A, we now have the motor and a 12 ohm resistor in series. And current is equal to potential difference over resistance. The potential difference we were given as 3 volts. The resistance is the 12 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor of the motor in series so they add together giving a current of 0.19 amps. For circuit B, well with the slider across here the motor is in parallel with a length of wire as effectively zero resistance. There will be zero potential difference across the wire and therefore zero potential difference across the motor. So we can write I is equal to V over R but now the potential difference V will be 0 volts the resistance of the motor 4 ohms meaning no current will pass through the motor. Part B for both circuits calculate the maximum current through the motor. Well for both circuits this will be with the slider fully right so we're not using any of the resistor in the circuit. For circuit A we effectively have just the motor in series with the 3 volt supply and so I is equal to V over R which is 3 volts over 4 ohms of the motor giving a current of 0 0.75 amps. For circuit B well now both the motor and the resistor are in parallel across the 3 volt supply. So both will have the same potential difference of 3 volts. And so I is equal to V over R which again is equal to 3 volts over 4 ohms giving a current of 0 0.75 amps. This problem shows the advantage of using a potential divider as a controlling device is that we can go down to zero current passing through the component with a variable resistor there will always be some current passing through the component. However, with the variable resistor the part of the resistor not in use is not wasting energy, there is no current through it. Whereas with the potential divider there is always a current passing through the whole of the resistor and so this is wasted energy.